All right, yes, you're welcome back to the Balanza Hotel Entertainment this morning. Now, if you're just joining Network, you guys ginger up because right about now, now the first story they hit us for your domot. Now they've been come you come your way this morning, and it consigned the um, vacation we our president they actually take right about now. Um, president Muhammad Obari, they say, the, according to it, the report, what they get will on Saturday go travel go to the United Kingdom. Now, now the president spoke man Femi Adeshin on an commerce I talk say this trip. And a private one, and they talk to Mr. Buari go arrive, say he go go, he go go on vacation, which is supposed to last for about two weeks. Now he's expected to return to Nigeria for November 17, according to what Mr. Adeshino they talk, which means that Oga Buari go to travel to the United Kingdom from Saudi Arabia, where he's supposed to attend the Economic Forum of the Future Investment Initiative, that now um, um, for inside uh, Riyadh. Now they saying don't leave Abuja on Monday for the event. Now on the sideline, on base of the two will happen on top of the event. They say Ogabari go hold bilateral talks with King Abdul Abdullai Abdullai II of Jordan. Now Wednesday they say go participate for an event where they don't title them. What's next for Africa in terms of how investment and trade go transform the continent into the next great economic success story. Now they say not be only him go there for this event. They say president of even Kenya go there for there, president of Congo go there for there, and even president of Burkina Faso. Now this trip they come at a time when some kind of concern they around uh, over Mr. Buari's uh, penchant for foreign travels. Now the president don't forget saying be there for inside Russia last week. Critics talk say all oh, these trips, hmm. how this one go benefit the nation? As, as because as they look and so they say the nation they face severe economic and security crisis at this point in time. And not forgetting, say, for every trip where they work, you know they work alone. You get some kind of people, we must, we must to follow and work for all these kind of travels. And who they come outside, they talk, say, the cost of all this one, will they talk, say, money, no, they the country. Will they talk, say, inflation, they go up. Will they talk, say, cost of governance is so high. Um, are all these trips actually very necessary? What be the beneficial relationship or beneficial result where these trips will bring out at the end of the day. Now, we take questions with some people, they come outside, they ask me that. Though we're not see the results now, and they wonder, say, we get a lot of challenges in and out, so we're supposed to deal with rather than traveling. But let's just pray, say, um, all this um, um, interaction we they do with other countries will actually benefit us in the long run. Like they talk, so it they be say, a prayer agreement. They say, this particular way they go, so they say they will talk about how they will take invest for inside Africa and how they would transform the Africa continent into the next great economic success story. So with the press, the kind information we go get for there and the kind network we go get for there go actually help to um, put investment for inside some of our sectors. I think we'll turn it into a prayer request, so we have to pray no, for it. No, when you pray, not be say prayer. You know, for inside court, they go talk, say, we pray, not be prayer. Not be saying now you, they pray, say, oh, Jesus, let this thing, they didn't know. But we just they hope say all oh, this one will actually transform into something positive. To enjoy more of this our Ubonga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.